Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another comparison video. A very unfair comparison, I might add, because we're looking at two figures with two completely different price ranges over here. So I have to acknowledge that right at the top of the video. Uh, we're looking at the Marvel Legends Venom movie figure, and we're comparing it to the SH Figure Arts Venom Let There Be Carnage import Venom movie figure. So one of them was originally priced at $20, the Marvel Legends and then this one right here cost me $130. If you wanted to buy the movie Venom figure that came from Marvel Legends, which was released a couple years ago, it has gone up in price in the aftermarket a whopping 10 bucks. So it's still very affordable. You're looking at a $100 difference between these two items. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind as we discuss this. Uh, but the reason for this video is because I went back to look at my SH Figure Arts Venom review and it looked like it was a black and white figure. Like, just the way it came out, maybe it's my white balance. I'm showing off the two figures back to back over here so you could maybe see more of a contrast in the color scheme for each of the two figures, but... I wanted to discuss that a little bit further. I also wanted to get into some more of the things that I really did like about the SH Figure Arts version and what it offers compared to the Marvel Legends figure. So I want to get to some of the details a little bit further, but first, if you're trying to get your Marvel figures, you can do so on Whatnot. What? What's a Whatnot, you may be thinking to yourself? Well, Whatnot is an auction website and app where I have been selling extra figures, and it has been working out tremendously well for me. Not only have I been able to sell figures, but I've been selling figures to my viewers for very cheap prices. Check out the reviews yourself. I've sold around 400 items over there, and not only that, but I am super lucky that Whatnot is hooking up my viewers with awesome giveaways, man. This is crazy. You don't have to send any money in any kind of way. All you need to do is follow me on Whatnot and be there during the live stream to get a chance to win a brand new HasLab Razor Crest. Now this is mine, I'm keeping it. It's not going anywhere, there is a brand new one on the way. Last month we gave away a Robosyn Optimus Prime. The month before that we gave away a HasLab Galactus. We've also given away some awesome Mafex figures, Marvel Legends, uh, Masterpiece Transformers, all kinds of dope stuff. And I just feel very fortunate that we're able to give away a HasLab Razor Crest. All you gotta do is follow me on Whatnot, check out the link below, and be there during the live stream at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time on February 23rd. The kind of figures I'm selling, I have extra Transformers over here, extra old school Marvel Legends, Star Wars figures over here that we're gonna be selling, more Transformers, some Shardmas Prime merchandise as well. So again, check out the live stream coming up this Thursday at 6 p.m. So I feel like the topic of the accessories is a moot point right here, especially because you're seeing a hundred dollar difference. Plus, the basic accessories that you get with the Marvel Legends figure, two heads, two fisted hands, two wide open clawing hands, that is sufficient, right? You, you don't really need more than that. Of course, I could always want more than that. I did get more third party accessories for my Venom figure, but nothing like we're seeing over here. Like those third party accessories just go far beyond what we get with these. But when you see the accessories split up like this, like really for the most part, I had fun. I guess this accessory I would have to keep the most. Having these on the figure isn't really something that makes me that excited, but I do like having it. It's just not a deal breaker at all. You know what I mean? It's not like there's any extra accessories that we're getting with the SH Figure Arts figure that make it a must get over the Marvel Legends. That's the point I'm trying to make. So because of that, I'm going to give the accessories point to the Marvel Legends. Now, looking at the paint sculpt between these two figures, I am not going back on anything I said. Believe it or not, people left comments saying that Venom looked blue in the movie, and I looked up a bunch of pictures. You could see them right here. I didn't find one of them where he looked blue. I even tried to find one where it looked like it was more in daylight. I tried my best to find a picture of a blue Venom figure, or blue Venom from the Let There Be Carnage movie, and I could not find it. So I don't know where people are coming from with that. Now, the Marvel Legends figure veins, I guess you could say these are too big compared to these right over here. And 
And right now, my viewfinder, I really see this as a blue figure. Like, this definitely looks navy blue to me. This definitely looks black to me. Now, as far as the paint sculpt goes on the heads, SH Figure Arts just kills it. Like, it, it, there's just no comparison, really. Like, the teeth, I think they're the paint apps are fairly well applied. I still see a lot of pink coming through it. There's no paint detail on the eyes. Way back when I reviewed this, I actually mentioned something about there being like a milky whiteness to the eyes. This one totally captures that, in my opinion, with that light blue paint detail. Teeth look like they have plaque in between them, pink in between the symbiote gooeyness. Definitely superior compared to the Marvel Legends. And then comparing these two head sculpts right here, because these two are the most alike, you could see, yeah, the SH Figure Arts just has a much better offering. You could see the texturing throughout and it looks really good as far as that sculpt goes. You could see it a bit over here, but when you get to the bigger muscles, it just kind of flattens out. And that's not a thing I mentioned when I did the SH Figure Arts review. So that's something to note. That's a win for the SH Figure Arts also. Where it's a loss for me, uh, again, I feel like the arms are a little bit too long on the SH Figure Arts. That, like, they're shoulder to shoulder right here. And you can see that it goes a little bit longer right there for the SH Figure Arts. Also, I don't like the way this diaphragm joint just drops off right here when you get to the abs. It's nice that you get the abs going all the way back when you get them into poses, which we'll get into articulation in a minute. But yeah, that's a loss for me. I like how this looks a lot smoother and natural. Oh, and then this whole crotch area thing. I mean, if you're posing your figure around, it's not going to bother you as much. But when you get them into neutral poses, to me, it sticks out and it just looks ugly to me. There's just too many panels in such a short, small amount of space where, you know, this one looks a lot more natural and fluid, you know? So there's your crotch comparison. Which one do you like more? <laughs> and then, you know, the legs, uh, he gets a little bit skinny on the ankles right here. Th that, that is the downside of the Legends figure. I think that's a little bit too thin around the ankles. That looks a little bit more appropriate. And you do have ball joints on this SH Figure Arts figure, but they don't stand out that much. It's not like it breaks up the sculpt so much to the point where it really annoys me. And I just swapped the heads and hands over here to get a look at these, you know, for one more look. And yeah, man, uh, I, I do like how this looks in a lot of ways. But to be honest with you, as, as far as the paint and sculpt goes, I do have to give it to the Marvel Legends figure. SH Figure Arts definitely did much better with the head sculpts. But I gotta tell you, whenever I pick this up, I hold it and I feel like I'm looking at the wrong color. It just looks wrong to me. I just had to make that very clear when I did my review because even though the pictures, it looked black, in person, every time I hold it, I'm like, ah, that's not the right color. So during my SH Figure Arts Venom review, I felt like I sang SH Figure Arts praises for their articulation. I also really love their articulation on the Venom figure from Marvel Legends. However, uh, bringing them back out here and posing them both around again, holy crap, this one's way more fun to pose. I mean, just getting that out of the way, the head articulation on this figure is so frustrating to work with. I do like the articulation for the most part, just getting the head to look up without having it on a ball joint, halving it on a ball joint. I mean, dude, the you can get him looking up easy and this whole thing with a panel on the back of the head i love that feature I, I really like that a lot i think that is awesome to have you get the neck joint in here i mean all kinds of articulation you can half it so that he's looking up a little bit more so but you know it starts getting gappy and weird and that looks ugly you know not from the front but yeah from the side that doesn't look so good you don't have the butterfly joints you get that with this one right over here as far as using the diaphragm and ab crunch to move forward, you can get him using both joints that far. And the SH Figure Arts only bends forward that far. So there's just not nearly as much movement going on. Yeah, their thighs are both vertical right here. So the Marvel Legends figure just destroys as far as that goes the same amount backward. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Let's hold hands like this. As far as moving the legs forward and everything, you can get them sitting easily. Same thing with this one. Actually, I feel like this one you can go even further. Damn. See, that I remember I liked this Marvel Legends figure a lot for a reason. I guess the knee bend is about the same, right? And you do have pinned joints over here, but, you know, they do blend in compared more so compared to other figures. I guess that's about the same as well, so it's a bit mooting. This one has the added side-to-side -side motion and toe articulation at the feet. It does have the ankle pivot. Well, let's see the double jointed elbows. Those bend in all the way. Of course, these are going to bend in not nearly as far. Jeez. 
Wow. Yeah, I don't know, man. The Marvel Legends figure has some really good articulation. I mean, there's definitely more with the SH figure arts, but uh, I'm, yeah, it's not by much, dude. I feel like I really am getting a lot out of this $20 figure compared to the $130 figure. There is more articulation here, aside from the abs, you know, but... Yeah, it's not by much. For the price difference, this is a hell of a deal. So I'm still giving the articulation point to the SH Figuarts figure, but just by a very, very slim margin. And that's because of the price difference. So yeah, it goes to the SH Figuarts still, but yeah, anyway. So let's talk about the size and scale. And this is one topic that I felt like I was just flat out wrong about when I reviewed the SH Figuarts Venom figure. Uh, going back and looking at some still shots, uh, this is an appropriate height, yeah. And I have two Ant-Mans, SH Figure Arts Ant-Man, Marvel Legends Ant-Man next to the Marvel Legends Venom, SH Figure Arts next to the SH Figure Arts. So within SH Figure Arts, that does look accurate. The Marvel Legends figure should have been a little bit taller. This Venom figure is the more accurate figure as far as scale goes. So there you go. I was wrong about it. And hopefully this corrects that. And by the way, I can't wait to see Quantum Mania. I'm supposed to watch it tonight. Hopefully I get to see it. Hopefully. Huh? And the last topic out of the five, I just have to mention the price again. And that I should be obvious that it goes to the Marvel Legends figure. Now, the Marvel Legends figure did come out a couple years ago. Maybe the SH Figure Arts would cost closer to $80 nowadays compared to the $20 back then for the Legends Venom. But still, I mean, I think you're getting a lot for the Marvel Legends figure, especially in comparison to the SH Figure Arts. Like when I went over the articulation, you're getting a lot with that Legends figure. But there are aspects to the articulation with the SH Figure Arts that are better in that regard. But I just think overall, for the price, on the Marvel Legends figure, I feel like I'm getting a whole lot more. And it's a larger Marvel Legends figure compared to most. The Venom figure, that's larger too. I guess the price point isn't too insane compared to other SH Figure Arts figures, right? But I think it's around $30 more than most of them. I think they're averaging at around $100 now. So, yeah, it, it, it's the, the price. I'm giving it to the Marvel Legends figure without a doubt. So, three out of five goes to the Marvel Legends figure. I still feel the same way. I'm not changing my opinion. If you have to pick between the two of them and you're on a budget, go for the Marvel Legends figure, man. Now, if your bank account's looking bright and shiny and doesn't depress you in the morning, well, hey, maybe you could go ahead and spend the $130 on an SH Figure Arts Venom, and I think you're going to be happy with it in some regard if you know that you're getting into a figure that has the wrong paint apps it's not supposed to be dark blue like that but if you're okay with it then by all means go for it because when i take photos of it when i do video shots and everything it doesn't look as bad that's just the reality of it when you look at it on camera it looks a lot darker when i hold it in hand it looks a lot more like a blue figure to me so just be warned if you're going to go ahead and drop the 130 on the SH Figure Arts. Will you be happy with it? I suspect you would, because I had a great time posing the SH Figure Arts figure around. Like, just on its own, it's not a bad figure. It's just, it's just a very expensive figure. And that comes with buying imports, you know what I mean? So anyway, it's kind of weird comparing, you know, mass retail figure compared to an import figure. It's not a fair comparison by any means, but fun to do. And fun to kind of go back and correct myself and kind of retouch and expand on some of the points that I made in the SH Figure Arts Venom review. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was fun for you to watch it. I had a fun time making this. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out the Whatnot stream this coming Thursday. We're giving away a HasLab. Razor Crest. I'm very excited about the live stream. I'm going to have Marvel Legends for sale amongst a bunch of other things. So hopefully you check it out at 6 p.m. on Thursday. And if not, I will catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't. Shot, 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 shot,